Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create cart and checkout page in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the cart and the checkout page, first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on the add new plugin. Alright, so from here, what we need to do, we have to search for shop engine. Okay, so we have to install shop engine elementary WooCommerce builder add-on. So I have already installed and activated this. So after installing this, what do you need to do? You have to go inside the shop engine that you can see on the sidebar. So let's click here. Alright, so as you can see here that we are into the dashboard of the shop engine. So first thing that you need to do when you're installing the shop engine for the first time, you have to go inside the widgets. And from here, you actually have to enable all the widgets from here. So I have already enabled all the widgets, but you will be able to see the enable all widgets option here. Okay. So after this, what we need to do, we have to go inside the builder templates. And in the builder templates, you just have to create the template for the cart and the checkout. That's it. Okay. So now let's just start creating the template of our cart first. So let's click here. And I have to choose this. So that would be the cart. And this will be default cart page. And after this, I have to activate this. Okay. So from here, you can see this. I can use this predefined templates. But right now, I'm going to simply go here with the empty template here. Okay, so now let's click on Edit with Elementor. Alright, so now you can see this. We are inside the Elementor editor. So from here, you can see this. We have the Shop Engine Generous. So you can basically use these options on any page that you want to create with the Shop Engine. But we also have some elements that are specifically for the card page. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, we have to put the card table here. All right, so let's just put it here. All right, so after the card table, I have to use the two column structure here. So that would be this. And now what I need to do, I just have to go back and I will simply add card total here. So let's just put this here onto the right column. Okay, so now this is looking great. And now what I need to do, I would like to add the cross cell, okay? So I would like to add this on the new column because I want you to have this space here. So let's just click here and click on the flex box, click on the column. And here, what I need to do, I just have to drag cross cell here. All right, so now this is looking great. And after this, what we need to do, I wanted to add the heading here just before the cross cell so that we know that these are the related products or we can also, you know, put something else here. So let's go back. And I will search for the heading here. So let's just put it here. And this would be H4. Alright, so this is the text here. And I have to change the style of this. So this would be kind of weight. I would like to change the weight here. So that would be light. And I would like to decrease the font size here. Okay, so I think this is looking fine. Alright. Alright, so we have added all the necessary elements. So now I just have to customize all of these things. So first thing that I need to do, I'll just simply click on our card table. And I wanted to create the space here. So let's just click here. So that would be 100 or maybe 80 px space here. This is looking fine. Okay, so now what we need to do is simply go back into the content and see what do we have here. So in the content, we have the journal and we have the content. So in the journal, you can see this, we only have the two options. If you wanted to hide the shopping button option, you can simply enable this. So if I just click this, you can see this, uh, this button is simply disabled, but I would like to have this. And if you wanted to hide clear all button, you can simply hide it from here. Okay, but I would like to have this. And in the content, let's see what do we have. So in the content, we have the product title. We have the price, we have the quantity, we have the subtotal, we have the continue shopping, update card, and the clear all. So if you wanted to change the text of any of these options, you can simply do it from here, okay? And after this, we have the style. So let's see what we have in the style. So in this style, we have the table header, table body, and we also have the product image, product item, and you can also see these other options here. So if you wanted to customize, any of these options you can simply do it from here so right now we're going to go here with the table header because i would like to change the background color of this so that would be a kind of green color all right so i would like to have this color but i think i would need to change the text color here so that would be white and i would also like to change the color of these buttons maybe 
So let's just see how can we do this. Let's just go inside the table body. All right, so now I would also like to change the color of these buttons from here. Okay, so how can we do this? So let's just uh, close the table header and or right, so I think this would be in the table footer. So let's click here and okay, so we have the button styles. So I think we can go from here. So let's just change the color here. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so I need to change the color from here. All right, so some dark color here. And I will simply click here so that would be the white color. All right, so now this is looking fine because that is basically relating with our uh, shop theme. So after this, we have this cart totals. All right, so I will just simply click here and I would like to change the button color here, only the button color. So you can see this in the style, we have the different options, but we only wanted to change this button color. Okay, so how can we do this? So let's see where do we have this. I think. Here we have this. So let's just change the background color. All right, so this is the background color. All right, so I think now our card page is looking fine. I need to do some changes here in the cross cell. So in the cross cell, I actually want to disable these options here. So right now, play. So in the cross cell, I would actually like to disable these options here. So that would be the flash sale. That would also be the sale price. Since we don't have any sale or the sale price, that is why you are not able to see this. And after this, we have the card button. So I would like to disable this. And what I want to do, I want you to have the three items only. Okay. And let's see what do we have here. All right. So I would also like to show three products per slide. Okay. So now this is looking better. And uh, what we need to do, we can just, okay. So I would like to disable the arrows. Okay, and we can also show the buttons if you wanted to. Since I only had these three products, so you can't really see these options here. And after this, we have this advanced settings. So in advanced settings, you have these options of order, buy, and the order. So if you wanted to put the products on the random order, you can simply choose the random. And you also have the other options. So that is basically your choice. And after this, we have this order. So if you wanted to put this into ascending or the descending order, you can simply select this from here. Okay, so now we're going to go into the style. So in this style, I actually want to put these thing into the center. Okay, so I just simply click here into the center and these thing will be into the center. So now this is looking better. All right, so this is how we can create our card page. So let's click on update. All right, so now simply go back here into our WordPress dashboard. All right, so now we basically have created our card page with the help of shop engine. So now it's the time to build the checkout page. So let's just click on the add new and I just quickly build our checkout page. So, all right, so I have to change the type here. So that would be checkout and I have to activate this. All right, so for the checkout page, we won't be building this from the scratch. We'll simply use a template here. So let's see what do we like here. All right, so. We have a lot of the different options here. All right, so I would actually like to go here with this one. Okay, I think this is looking very simple and very uh, sophisticated. So let's click here and click on add it with Elementor. All right, so this is the template design for our checkout page. And I think this is looking really great. It is really simple design. So we have this section on this side here. So if you wanted to customize this text here, you can simply do it. Okay, so. Uh, there is no restriction on the customization of the template here. So if you want to customize this thing, you can simply do it. And if you wanted to customize the icon here, that is also possible. And you can also see these things. So all of these things are simply customizable here. So you can simply write down your own things here, your own policy here, your own procedures here. Okay, so after this, you can see all of these things on this template are basically customizable. So if I wanted to remove this section because I don't really like this one. So I'm going to simply click here and I will simply delete this intersection. Okay, so let's click here and now we don't have this intersection. And if you wanted to add anything from here, you can simply add it as well. Okay, so there is no restriction on the customization. So let's see if I just click here onto this. All right, so if you wanted to change this color on this button, that is basically on the hover. So what I can do, I just simply click here on the button and from here, what I can do, I will just simply click on the hover and from here, I'll just simply change the color based on our theme color. 
so that would be basically green color okay so now i think this is looking better all right so that is how you can also modify other things here if you wanted to okay so let's see what do we have along with the button so we have the agreement checkout so if you want to customize this you can also do it and if you want to customize some payment method you can also do it but right now i really don't have any payment method indicators so that is why i can't see the option of the payment methods and at the first we have the content style so you can simply change the colors from here all right so here we also have this uh card total you can see this you can also customize this we also have this uh shipping method and we also have this order notes so i would like to remove this so let's just remove this okay and we also have this shipping information okay so if i just click here you will be able to see all of the input list so you can simply change the order of this from here if you wanted to so now you'll be able to see first we have the last name and the first name all right so now we'll simply go into the style so in the style you can see this we have the form title we have the field visibility okay so i think we can change the visibility here so we have these options to change the visibility of the feed from our form okay so i don't want to have the zip code so i will simply disable the zip code i would also like to disable the country here all right and in a similar way you can simply disable or enable the options as per your requirement and you can also see that we have the form container we have the label we have the input and we have the global font here so you can also customize these options by yourself as per your requirement so you can simply explore these options by yourself okay so right now i'm going to simply update this and then we will simply go back to our dashboard all right so now you can see here that we have our checkout page and we have our card page ready and these are basically active so now we have to test this in our shop okay so let's go into the store from here and now what we need to do we just have to go inside the card here so let's click here all right so now this is how our card page is looking and i think this is looking really simple and after this what we need to do we simply go into our checkout page so let's click here and now you will be able to see our card page here all right so this is how our card page is looking and i think this is looking really good so in this way you can create card and checkout page in the woocommerce so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel